Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, Jerry Springer tedious, Jerry Springer tedious. I've no idea whether he likes it or not. Dave, it's Jerry Springer. You really disappointed me today. <laughs> that tedious link was terrible. That's Actually, negative, isn't it? I, we should have that clip for when you're not feeling too good one morning. Dave, it's Jerry Springer. You really disappointed me today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. That's like being told off by your uncle. Mm. Um, all right. So there was a problem with the tedious link. Um, it wasn't my problem. I had nothing to do with it. I am clear. So I believe is Alad Hayden Jones. Luckily, yes. Yeah. I've put into the dock Comedy Dave, Matt Fincham and Rachel Jones. Now, Rachel says she was really protesting her innocence when she got arrested. However, I'm going to bring her first up. Uh, Rachel, please take the witness stand and explain to the jury your involvement or not in this tedious link screw-up. Well, Your Honour... I was aware that there was a change in the tedious link. Where the today. link goes, nobody knows, Rachel. Quiet, please. I did, please. I did email Mr. Comedy Dave about this on Friday and also mentioned it to him either yesterday or Monday. We had had a conversation about it and I said, it's up to you, but you'll n you, this is what you need to know. Dave knew the fact. I blame Dave. Okay, there you go. I mean, didn't didn't really make a lot of sense what she said there, uh, Councillor Allard. Uh, but uh, should we hear from our next witness? Yes, please. Uh, call the next witness. Calling Matt Fincham. Hello. Oh, um, I don't <laughs> think it's not me uh, because I only check the tedious link if it's a track that isn't in the system. I then order it up and check for language. In this case, the track was in the system, and I blame Comedy Dave. Aren't you meant to check that the script and the running oh, order tally? Oh, the witnesses no, are arguing. they've turned on each other. <laughs> the unit assistant does that. Oh. <laughs> Get Neil in. Right. Get joking, Neil joking, in. joking, joking, joking. <laughs> okay, the final person to take the witness stand is uh, Mr. Comedy Dave. Well, Your Honour, I have to say, I plead guilty <gasps> to the crime <laughs> of stuffing up the tedious link. Now, as we all know, where the link goes, nobody knows, except me and Nigel upstairs. <laughs> but... <laughs> and me, occasionally. And you. Rachel is indeed correct when she says that we discussed the rescheduling of an impromptu record today to make it Oasis to throw forward to the fact that... Comedy Dave. Hello. You are a disgrace to directors of comedy and sidekicks across the UK. May you hang your head in shame. It is. For your crimes against radio features, I sentence you to three weeks of Sunday morning breakfasts. But I've only just come off that sentence. Send him down! <laughs> I've only just been released. That's not available anymore, hang anyway. On, hang on. I can't believe it. I've only just come <laughs> off weekends. I've worked every day for 40. And I'm just enjoying having a lying in on a Sunday, and now I've been sent down once again for being an idiot and for getting the day wrong on my record, which of course is impromptu and completely off the top of my head. The end. Right, just two remain. Will it be the Britpop Womble or the fingers down the blackboard of Kidderminster? It's time to play. <laughs> the weakest team member. <laughs> Can't we bring Ali's on this one now, yes. then? Yeah, surely he qualifies for this game. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, you're in. Watched before, it's brilliant. Mm. Mm. Statistically, Alan is also useless. <laughs> having worked on the show for a long time and still not fully understanding his job. Matt is always a weak link, no matter what he does in his life. Rachel bakes cakes. So, as far as I'm concerned, she's going to get off and have nothing to do with this. It's time to play the weakest team member. Welcome! <laughs> to the weakest link! I did not expect that. <laughs> so, she does that awkward wink at the camera at the end of the, end of the show, which lasts a little bit too long. Yeah. She's just a little... Because she's sitting there watching the show going, Tell you what, she's a good age, Anne Robinson, but she, mm. I mean, she's had surgery, she's put her hand up, but she, I think she looks good on it. She knows she looks all right. She's quite attractive, Anne Robinson. And then she does that kind of weird granny wink at the mm. end, and you go, No! Most people get lines and they wink. And she doesn't. No. No, no. no. Nothing moves. No. Uh, no. You know. 
That's why she has to move her head because if she doesn't tell the head, it can't tell. Won't close. Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> she's a nice lady. Botox though. in her eyelids. They're just permanently stuck. It's like she's wearing starched jeans. I can be nasty. I'm Welsh. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Well, does yeah. everybody in Wales hate Anne yeah, Rose? Yeah. Oh, is that a fact? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> in a recent poll, 101% of people asked said yes, they do. Um, all right, well, uh, we blame Dave. Dave has been sent down, and that's that. Where's my present? I have it here. Come on, Chris. Keep your top jogging speed going. There's only four minutes left of this. That's not long. This is Allard's Plodcast, which is made for me, uh, which is a load of tracks... He's mixed together with him inspiring me as my new unofficial trainer. Mm. So when I go running, I can listen to the podcast and I can, you know, it's like a training program. And it gets easier. Time for some Britney. There had to be some Britney, didn't there? The CD wouldn't work, actually, in the studio. It works upstairs, so I put it in the system for you as well. Oh, okay, all right. But um, I had so much fun making this. All right, and I really pictured myself running with you. Oh, thanks. Treadmill's not that big. Do you want to hear a little bit of this, Dave? This is what Alan made for me yesterday. Absolutely. Hello, Chris, and welcome to the start of your podcast. Mm. I'm here to help you with your little run, which today I'm going to be doing with you for the first 20 minutes. So... Can I just say, Alan is miming along to his own voice. Did I... Was I miming? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no! Like yeah. That. Oh, sorry. I'd rehearsed that bit. Sure. You could tell. Let's begin. Start your jog now. I might even do a little bit of jogging in the studio with you as we start. It's very personal, by We're the way. We're going to start nice and slow. This is your warm-up track. Oh. Did you script so I picked this? picked something that's quite gentle to ease you in with. The what? Oh. Did you script this? No, no, this is oh, now. Right. All ad lib. All this, from here on out, ad lib. Wow. What do you mean? You wrote the beginning? The beginning of it. Did I'd you really? Yeah. Loser. I thought... This is the new Black Eyed Peas, oh. I Got a Feeling, oh, which nice. is already at number 14 in the chart, and what? it's not even released yet. <laughs> I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes. Enjoy this one. Do you know what? The weird thing is, that's, it's a bit cheesy, but that's, I've got a couple of training programmes, and they are like that. The entire thing is really cheesy. I'll be back in three minutes, yeah. so just keep on running and uh, keep that pace going. And a few times I find myself saying, you're doing well. Thank you. How the hell do I know how you're doing? Well, you could have just stood on the side and had a cigarette. It's inspirational, though. <laughs> Did you hit the vocal? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm proud to say I hit no, the vocal. It's not even released yet. I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes. Enjoy this one. I got a feeling. Wow, look at that. The whole thing. It's Do you know what? I will. Yeah, round of applause. It's all a bit small. Um, I will. I will run today, and I will listen to that. And if you like it, I'm going to put it on the website. I'm going to try and get people to run this week. I'm going to do a little thing for everyone. Loads of people are texting saying, can, can the podcast be available? I'd really like to do that. I really enjoyed doing it yesterday, so I might okay. do that. All right. And I'll let you know tomorrow um, what it's like. It's got to be slightly amended, because there's a few personal things in there for you. So I'll make a generic one. Well, like, you know, keep it up fatty. No, things like, um, you're running next to Acer. Here's the black eyed peas. Mm. Lip up fatty. Mm. No, no, no. That kind of thing. You're running next to Acer. He's running faster than you. Go up a mile per hour, that kind of thing. He also says what time your taxi's booked for and what the booking yeah. reference is for tomorrow <laughs> yeah. morning. Rachel! Coming up today on Radio 1 at 10, Joe Wiley has the Maccabees in the live lounge. Edith has more tea in the park tickets at 1. Scott's at 4. Zane's at 7 and has the exclusive first play of Biffy Clyro's new single. Single. Right. Hugh Stevens best of introducing at nine and between ten and midnight, Nick Grimshaw has the final chance to win tea in the park tickets. That's all radio on all day, Wednesday the 8th of July. Thank you. you never ceases to be amazed how you do this every day and still manage to fluff it up. That's all radio one all day today. Yeah, that's consistency for you, Chris. Well, that is true. I'll give you that. 914. This is the Chris Miles show on the world famous BBC. Radio 1. 